Israel, a young country, is today a global leader in advanced technologies and agro solutions. Since its independence in 1948, the country has overcome obstacles like water scarcity and limited land through constant innovation and enhanced technology. An outstanding system of agricultural research and development has provided Israeli farmers with brilliant results, allowing Israel to share its breakthroughs with other countries. India has partnered with Israel to boost the agricultural sector and to meet the demands of a growing nation. In 2040 or 2045, we are the biggest country in terms of population and the land will be the limiting factor in India. So if we don't change our traditional growing vegetables method, not possible to feed the population. In 2008, governments of India and Israel introduced a joint project. It was aimed to increase the quality and quantity of the farmer's yield and to create new horticultural avenues while optimizing the use of resources. With a significant impact on households across India, the project offers a holistic approach to ensure food security and sustainability. This is about partnership and friendship between Israel and India. The Indo-Israel Agriculture Project is being implemented by MIDH, Ministry of Agriculture of India, State Governments of India, Embassy of Israel in India and Mashav, Israel's Agency for International Development. Established in 1958, Mashav is sharing Israeli experience and knowledge through capacity building worldwide and training programs aimed at sustainable development. Mashav's vision is turned into action through collaborations with other governments and international organizations. Agricultural knowledge transfer is performed by Sinatko, the professional affiliate of Mashav. The Israeli team formed by Mashav set together with the Indian team and identified which are the segments in agriculture such as vegetables under protected cultivation, mango, citrus, pomegranate, dates and other crops that were key crops identified by the Indian partners. Strategically located across the country, the Indo-Israel Project's centers of excellence are the main modality of this partnership. The centers are divided into a number of key segments. Each center is a focal point for the local farmer communities. In the centers, Israeli experts work in tandem with their Indian counterparts to adapt Israeli technology to local requirements and conditions. The centers are built on three pillars nursery management, where Israeli standard high-tech nurseries are set up for intensive production of healthy and high-quality seedlings. These production units incorporate climate-controlled solutions, soilless cultivation, introduction of new varieties and rootstock crafting. In fact, the centers have developed a model of sustainability through revenue generated from nursery management and the sale of seedlings. Quality of seedlings produced at the center because the infrastructure that this center has that is not possible for a single farmer to get that infrastructure at his own farm. Huge numbers that we wanted. It would be more risky if we grow the seedlings ourselves. So that's how we approach the center. Micro-irrigation, a revolutionary technology invented in Israel in the 1960s enabled thriving agriculture under arid climate with an acute shortage of water resources. Today, this technology is being adapted to suit conditions in India. Trip irrigation at the centers of excellence demonstrates best practice of system installation, efficient water management and fertigation. Canopy management, where the focus is on densification of plants, pruning techniques and pest and disease strategies. We have pruned only 13 plants first year. But uh, once they saw the result, they saw the fruit on the tree. Uh, now uh, the demand is increasing. And uh, we have now pruned nearly uh, uh, 1,400 trees. 
One of the key roles of the Centers of Excellence is generating applied research. Trials and demonstrations show the benefit of new technologies and thus reduce the risk factor for an individual farmer. As I'm working in the extension service in Israel, it's my main goal to increase the income of the farmer. We can do it by sharing our knowledge with the centers and from the centers they will share the knowledge to the farmer. Knowledge is disseminated through three methodologies. Train the trainers, creating sustainable centers that are fully operated by local teams trained in Israel and further mentored by Israeli experts. Extension services, channeling the information and professional knowledge from the centers directly to the farmers. Open days, farmers are invited to visit the centers for demonstrations and hands-on exposure to new technology. The centers showcase a range of protective cultivation technologies from high-tech nurseries, naturally ventilated polyhouses, walk-in tunnels and net houses. Via prolonging the growing season and reducing pesticide consumption, protected cultivation substantially increases crop yields and thereby farmers' profits. In Nagpur, citrus farmer Kranti Gharar has greatly benefited from the project's research and indigenization of Israeli technology. By adopting raised bed cultivation and pruning, Mr. Kranti Gharad has tackled the problem of waterlogging. He has also seen increased yield and quality fruit from his plantation. This change resonates across the country. जब से हमने इसको किया है स्टार्ट तब से हमारी क्वालिटी भी बड़ी है और पैदावार बड़ी है और इनकम भी बड़ी है दिस एंड सिमिलर सक्सेस स्टोरीज हैव बिकम अ रियलिटी थ्रू द इंडो इजराइल एग्रीकल्चर प्रोजेक्ट एड्रेसिंग ग्लोबल चैलेंजेस ऑफ फूड सिक्योरिटी एंड सस्टेनेबिलिटी दिस ग्रोइंग पार्टनरशिप बिटवीन इंडिया एंड इजराइल इज प्रोवाइडिंग फार्मर्स विद ग्रेटर अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड ब्रिंगिंग अ सिग्निफिकेंट चेंज टू द फील्ड